Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks, where today we are having an exciting unboxing day. You know, we haven't had a box for a while. We get these round metal cans and we get bags, but this time, by golly, I can do an official unboxing for a bag. Ah, they always come in a bag, don't they? What's in here? Let's take a look. Oh, wow. That's empty. We have, huh, have you ever seen that logo before? I don't think I have. On the back, it's got some stuff. It's an SMA Q2 smartwatch. That's all the info for it. All right. Looks like it's a black one. Let's open it up and take a look. SMA. Huh. SMA. There we go. Ooh, nice presentation package. Look at this. We've got, wow, a manual in all black with color. Oh, that's going to be fun. Wow. Hey, this is fancy. Yeah, well, there's the watch. Okay. Um, you think the bands are removable on this? Don't have to cover that one. That's good news. On the back, it's... S, I guess that's M, S-M-A. All right, there's the watch. This thing has a little electrical cord look on it, so that's probably the charging cable. Good guess, huh? Yeah, it's our typical little four connector. It's the smaller one. There's two different sizes. This is closer together, and it magnetically couples nice and solid. Some other manufacturers should take note of this. Put bigger bad uh, magnets in your watches and you'll be able to make sure you get a good connection at night. I like that off the bat. Good connection. The uh, heart rate monitor, which is one of the reasons we brought this one in, folks. Look at that. There's three diodes on there. This is the advanced heart rate monitor on here. And then we've got, I bet you, the bands in here. And because they're removable, nothing else in here, right? No, nope, that's it. Um, because they're removable, obviously, you can have different colors, too. And we got, ha-ha, the hot orange red ones. Yeah, and they're the easy, quick connect kind. And I don't know which goes where, but we'll figure that out, and I'll get back on camera. In the meantime, what are we looking at? Let's take a look. This, folks, is the official SMA Time. And it's a uh, Bluetooth 4.0 smartwatch. It's available to us and coming to us from GearBest, and they are just getting started with this one. It looks like it's in red, blue, or black for the bands, and the body color is all in black. And, oh, uh, what's it got in it? It's 4.0, waterproof, and it looks like really waterproof. You can swim with this one. Does all these Bluetooth messaging health functions. See, the health tracker's got heart rate monitor and all of that. Uh, Anti-lost, eight different alarms on it, an LCD screen. You have touch screen and push button, lots of buttons, I noticed. This was a big issue, or a, 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 a red flag of, of good news, a 40-day standby time. That and what you're about to see in terms of a continuous heart rate monitoring capability are a couple of the reasons that we brought this tethering sports watch in to take a look at. So let's take a look at it. Let's start by looking at the manual. SMA. Wow. Wow. Well, it's tiny writing. Let's take it in sections. We have an up, confirm, and down on the right, and then the back button and power are on the left. Now I know which one to push to turn it on. There's how you put the bands in, simple as can be. Here's all the different functions that it can do. And there's the QR code to scan that will load up. It looks like a new app called SMA Care. So we're going to have fun looking at a new tethering app. That'll be interesting. Here's um, what you do. You register and log in, I guess. Pair it. That shows you how to get it all going. And guarantee terms. Mm-hmm. So it's got its own guarantee. And support on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn. Wow. They're really networked. All right. And smawatch.com with all of their information here in case you need to contact them. The other side is, of course, in Chinese. And that's our manual. 
All right, I'm going to put the bands on, charge it up, and I'll be right back. We'll take a first look at this. Okay, we've got the bands on. That was simple as sliding that and sticking them in. We have a little protector plastic. We'll take that off. And now before I turn the watch on, I wanted to show you on the phone. <clears throat> Hello, phone. Um, we went to uh, the Google Play Store, downloaded SMA Care. Okay, and... Uh, it shows screens like this, a main page that's going to have your exercise goal in terms of steps. You'll be able to set that. Your heart rate monitor showing your low, um, medium, and high, I guess, and your average uh, on there, as well as your sleepy head. <laughs> Not heard it referred to that way. Okay, if you get eight hours and 30 minutes, you must be a sleepy head, at least by China's terms. You have um, this kind of a chart that should come on there too. That's your exercise uh, record over the day, all right? And it shows you your number of steps in the increments. And look at that. It's even going to calculate whether you're sedentary, walking, or running. And accumulate that up to your goal. And that looks like it's over time. That's noon and that's midnight. Then you have this one. Sorry about the date coming on. It's part of the... This is uh, just screenshots here. Your heart rate uh, tracking, which is really cool. Um, and you can set the increment like every half hour, I think, or hour. We're going to see that when we turn the watch on. And your resting heart rate plus all of the uh, heart rates you're getting while you're working out uh, throughout your day. And then the last one is the uh, sleepyhead stuff showing you when you fell asleep, when you woke up, or how long you were awake and other information, and that was a start button on the screen that took us into the app itself, okay? Okay, the manual said we press the outside left button to turn it on, and here we go. Whoa, 1941 with dropping characters. That's pretty ominous. And then it goes dark, but look, the screen is still on. It's a reflective screen. How cool is that? And we get a couple of seconds worth of light on here, it looks like. If we press and hold, what happens? Not much of anything. If we press other buttons, oh, there we go. Okay. We're getting some watch faces. Looks like we've got three in here so far. That's the back button. That was a forward button. And what does this one do? Oh, okay. There's our running. It looks like it's all in Chinese right now. So we got different menu items, and then it doesn't go anymore. Three, two, one. Oh, we're starting some sort of a thing, and it's timing, bits, beats per minute and kilometers. It looks like it's a running kind of thing. Wow, interesting. I just push buttons all day. X, I don't want to save it. Is that a push button X or a push this button X? <laughs> Who knows what I'm doing, huh? I don't know. It's supposed to be touch-sensitive screen. All right. At this point, I think what we need to do is probably look at the app and try to get this thing tethered. It definitely was flashing back down under there. All right. You just sit there. Let's uh, bring up the SMA Care. Now, when I registered this, I just want to tell you it's a bit tricky. Well, it's straightforward, but... Uh, you don't just like create a name and a password or put in your email address and put in a name and a password. You have to put in your phone number and it has to send you a text message activation code, which you then put in before you can complete the registration. So you may want to consider that on buying this watch if you buy the watch and you're going to be able to use it to tether, which is pretty much the main purpose. You're going to definitely need to be releasing your phone number as part of the deal. All right, I went ahead and set it all up. I've got it in here, as you saw in before. This is like the main screen, but we're not connected yet. So we have to add a new device. And this is the SMA Q2. Looks like they've got a band and a watch. And it's now searching for this one. And there it is. So I'm just going to touch it and pair it. And with luck. Please long press the device middle button to confirm pair. Long press middle button. Okay, well that lit the screen up, so let's try it again. 
Long press middle button to confirm. Eh, it might be stuck in this mode of some sort that I've got to get out of first. So I'm going to press the outside button and try and turn it off. There we go. Okay. We've turned it off. Now let's try turning it back on. There it says SMA very uh, reflectively. And now we're going to try retry. It's searching. And we're going to pair it. There we go. Now it's showing something. Now we're going to press and hold. And it says it's syncing, connected. And we are in business. And the time just changed, if you notice, to 1445, which 245 is what we have on here. Again, it's a reflective screen, so I have to touch a button in order to light it up, I guess. Uh, there's one of our watch faces. Now, let's play with this for just a second. Here's the app. We have anti-loss, do not disturb, call notification, and SMS notification. And down here, we have other things, like we can set the sedentary uh, period for uh, monitoring your sedentariness. Sedentariness. And repeat on what days and what your interval is. That's sweet. You can, you can actually set times for it to go, and it skips your lunch hour, so it's not going to mess with you while you're taking your lunch nap at your desk. Nice, huh? You can set alarms right there, and you have your heart rate monitor where you can set the start time and the end times, and it's automatically set to go 24 hours and monitor the interval. The interval it can monitor is like as frequent as every 15 minutes. So it's not a real-time monitoring watch. It's an interval monitoring watch. Got it? The real-time ones are the ones that are monitoring it all the time, and you see it changing every couple of seconds. This is going to monitor it on an interval, but it's going to be able to graph that for you, too, so you can see uh, your results. You have your alarm vibration for how many times it'll vibrate. Um, four, fine, i try that. Backlighting, oh, I want to set this higher. I'm going to set this to eight seconds so you guys can see what it looks like. There, now we can take a moment to take a look at things. It's got something called a smart camera. If I tap that, it says camera. It just shows a button, and if I were to point this at something and press the button, do I need to press something to see it? Probably. It was more than eight seconds. I press a button and it takes a picture. Is that how it works? Well, that's what it's supposed to do. Anyway, something worth playing with. There, that took a picture. Okay, so it's got the smart camera thing, however that works. Here's where we can change the watch faces. And look at this! We've got a bunch of watch faces in here. Um, golly, what have I got already? I've got that one, that one, and that one. So that's that one, and then that one, and that one. I like those. Um, I'm going to try that one, and let's see what happens. Let's sync that watch face. Ooh, it's going to replace one of the other ones. Well, let's replace this one and sync. And now it's syncing and replacing that watch face. So you can only have three watch faces on the watch, but they can be uh, different uh, combinations of those three. There we go. And if I slide it, it doesn't do anything. It's not reacting, although it did say in the uh, book that it had a touch screen. It's not really reacting to the touch. You change the watch faces here. Okay, those are the three that we've got. You can see what they are. I'm not going to run through them, but there they are on uh, on here. That's, wow, that's just recommending. Then there's dynamic. Oh, look at that. We've got active uh, dynamic kind. We have pointer kind. Number Pointer, I guess, means analog. Uh, definitely bright colors of digital that you can put on here. And then others. Wow. Wow! Hey, they've got quite a collection of watch faces, don't they? Nice! Which one do you want me to put on? Pick one. Back over here in the number. Uh, that one up there? Alright, let's try that one. Let's sync it. And let's replace which one? 
Uh, that one? Okay, sync it. And now it's syncing it. I'm not going to go through all of them. Just one more to show you so you get a feel for what they're like. The backlight is on right now. And now it went off. So you see it's got the trans-reflective screen, which we first saw in that AmazeFit watch from China. There we go. Now we've got that as the watch face. It's 1450. Nice in blue with white, although that shows blue and yellow. Eh. So there you go. All right. Um, and that's all the three different watch faces, which you can change simply by pushing that button. The middle button is taking us into activity. It switched to English, you see. I don't want to get lost in there again, so let's play with this a little bit. Then you have notification settings. This is where all of your apps that you've got, and you can turn on specific ones that you will allow the watch to receive notifications from that particular thing that you select. Uh, I'm not sure. I imagine it's going to just vibrate the watch, and I'm pretty sure the watch does not even have sound in it. It's just vibration only, which of course means is you're not going to make and receive phone calls from this watch either. It's a sports fitness band blown up into a watch. That's really what you're looking at. Anti-lost should be sending a signal, or maybe that turned it on, so if we got too far away, uh, it'll vibrate and let you know that uh, your watch and your phone are separated. All right? Call notification. It'll let you know. I'm sorry, I'm off camera. It'll let you know if you've got a uh, call coming in. This is your SMS notification. It may or may not show you a text message. Fun things you get to discover when you buy it, huh? And do not disturb, I presume, makes it so it's not going to vibrate at all. All right, those are the different features. We are connected, Bluetooth there. We'd set the black light, backlight and all that stuff. So that's all related to device. Then you've got the Me tab. Now, it's got my phone number in here, so I'm going to hide that for you. But underneath here, you have personal information, your activity goal you can set, more settings, which give you your units, Imperial, the version. You can change your password, give feedback, and About Us, all of that stuff. Your personal information is where you have your account, which is your phone number and your username. Your gender, age, height, and weight, which you can put in uh, metric or imperial. You have your activity goal, which is where you set how many steps you're going to take. And it shows you down here, based on what you put in for your age and all, weight and all that other stuff, uh, how many miles you'd need to walk and what your calories burned would be. And you just hit done, and that'll save that. And then a help screen that'll take you over here to smawatch.com, the help section. And there you can read all about the products that they've got. And I presume somewhere in here, get help in English or Chinese. Okay. So I'm back on the data tab, of which I don't have any because we just opened it up. Uh, but I do want to show you this. You have a calendar button up here. And you can change days, and when you change those days, it'll show you all of your information for that particular day. Pretty nice. What about a day in the future? <laughs> it's smart enough to know that that hasn't happened yet. Today is right here. So you got that. And then there's this rank thing. Because you're registered, you are logged, I presume, against other people who are registered against the number of steps that they take. And judging from the number of steps everybody's doing, it's not going to take much for you to get out there and be an award winner. A gold, silver, and bronze. Uh, look, you don't, you don't even, if you hit 10,000 steps, you're going to be up there in contention. So look for smartwatch ticks up here once I start running around with this thing on my arm. And you'll know when I've put it away because I won't be in, the, in that area anymore. So you got your data, you got your rankings... You got all of the device information, and you got the me. Uh, as far as those other charts that we saw um, earlier, I'm not sure how they come up. You might have to have some data first. Oh, I guess you just touch them. Okay, there you go. That's uh, going to be your, which one did we touch? The steps, your activity. Oh, walking. Oh, that's your, walk. okay, I'm learning it. That's the walking. This would be running. See the running guy. And, and I guess when you just touch it in general, you get the oh the ability to change it and 
you probably get the cumulative. This looks like it's the running one there. Anyway, this is the times of the day. You can do weekly and you can do monthly. And you've got that information for there for your heart rate monitor, which, as you saw in the other one's going to show you your high and your low and your average. And again, uh, bad, bad sleep. I haven't slept at all, according to this. So you have your sleep monitor information as well. And that's how you get to all of that. That looks like a little pull-down thing, which means I go down like that to refresh it with the watch to update. Oh, look at that. I got 52 steps just sitting here. I love sedentary walking. Um, that's the app. This is the device. And I don't really see where you slide to go anywhere. You press the button. It's showing I had 52 steps so far. You press it again. Now it says run training and total. Total doesn't do anything, but maybe the bottom button does. Okay, that seems to switch it to there or switch it to there. And then this probably selects it. Progress 0%. Okay, that's that. Pressing it again does nothing. What about that? That's the back button, yeah. Now if I go into run training and press it, and I hit go, now you saw that before in Chinese, we can read what it's doing. Now I started running, and I'm doing a whole thing where I'm calculating or doing my run and uh, beats per minute and kilometers walked and all of that stuff. So that's pretty cool. And this is where I can confirm to end with a check mark yes or an X no. And I'm out of it. And that, I guess, finished it. And one more, and it takes me back to here. But I don't know how to get back to the watch face. I guess just keep doing that, yeah? Okay. That's it until you're at the watch face. And the final thing is pressing the button. And should turn it off. Which I don't think you need to do because it's got a 40-day standby, right? And it's supposed to hold seven days worth of data that you can later transfer over to the app. Nice watch. Lots of capability. And you can get it from GearBest. I got the, uh, the buying link for you with coupons and all that good stuff in the show notes down below. It's called the SMA Time. It's a new product. Buttons and, and, and the reflective always on screen. Hello, all of you guys who've been nailing me about why don't some of these watches have the always on screen. You got it now. And you can have interval heart rate monitoring over a range or 24 hours a day, whatever you'd like. Does not look like there's a mode that you can go into to take your heart rate instantly. It's more for accumulating data. So it's something you put on your arm. Oh, put it on your arm. All right. I, <laughs> I get so many comments and one of them is, you never showed it on your arm. I'm sorry. All right, here we go. But we turned it off, right? Press and hold. Should come up pretty quick. There it is, and reflective. And then, boom, it lights up. And I can change watch faces. There's a nice one. Goes with the orange band with an eight-second timeout. Okay, easy to remove bands. You could even just take this thing in your pocket if you want to. Uh, run around with it that way. Doesn't do anything when you touch it, so you're safe. You want to light up the screen, just press the button. And I presume you could just carry it with you and calculate and compute your data. You're not going to get your heart rate unless you have it strapped on. Uh, but for your walking or running, it, it could probably work that way. Wow, you've been watching Smartwatch Ticks. And again, we appreciate your uh, subscription. And if you're interested in the watch, please use the buying link down below. It helps us get more watches in here. And we have much more to come. 2017 is just beginning. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you soon.